It's back to square one for the Virginia Beach School Board after controversy forces a newly appointed board member to step aside. Soon after Michael Mullins was appointed to the board, offensive posts on his Facebook page surfaced. The board just ended a closed session after discussing who will fill the vacant Rose Hall seat. 13 News Now investigative reporter Evan Watson digs into how we got here. The Virginia Beach School Board unanimously appointed Michael Mullins to the board last night. Just hours later, community members shared these posts from Mullins' Facebook page. They include memes and pictures of Confederate flags and convicted mass murderer Dylan Roof, along with other posts that community members say are disrespectful to minorities and women. This is someone who's supposed to be a voice for our children. It was extremely concerning and alarming, and that was why, you know, I knew other parents needed to know. Lindsay Terry shared the posts. She says she's outraged as her daughter is biracial and experienced racial bullying at school. Yeah, I mean, I was ready to withdraw my kid from school last night. That's how upset I was. I was like, I this they're not protecting the children by appointing people that have these beliefs. Mullins withdrew from consideration for the appointment. The Virginia Beach School Board released a statement saying the Facebook posts were disrespectful and offensive and do not align with our values as a school system. Seiko Varner was one of two other finalists for the Rose Hall District seat. He said he congratulated Mullins last night and then woke up to texts and calls this morning. Think it doesn't seem like the community is responding to uh, this gentleman. So he may not, you know, this may have been a dodge bullet. Varner says he's encouraged that current city leaders quickly condemned the posts. Board member Carolyn Weems said the posts have no place in elected office or community discourse. And Rose Hall Councilman Michael Berlucci called them inappropriate and offensive. That confirms that they are the right people for their current, you know, their current seats. Varner and Terry both said the school board needs to do a better job of vetting candidates. I'm glad that he won't be there. I'm still concerned of how they let this happen. Former Rose Hall board member Joel McDonald says he's shocked by the situation, but he's confident the board will appoint the right replacement going forward. Evan Watson, 13 News Now.